I feel like the best is yet to come. <laughs> I'm missing <laughs> really? my baby. Oh. oh. Let's move on, <laughs> So I'm a heck of a grandpa. How was I as uh, a yeah, dad? Please, please. Oh. You were... Barb is a twin. Yep. Did they ever do the twin swap? So I was already nervous, and as I came up to the table, <laughs> I didn't know which one was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> this is part two of the Bumpa interviews. Thank you for coming back. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I feel like the best is yet to come. I'm missing <laughs> really? my baby. Oh. Oh. Are baby. you missing her literally, or are you missing her? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All three kids are actually in bed, finally. Yes. The kids are in bed. Yeet. This is Brad and Rage. He's a heck of a grandpa. I thought you were going to say yeet. Like, yeah, yeet. I was like, where did that come from? Yeet. No. Yeah, you said he. No. Weird. Was, okay. Yeet. This is Brad and Rage. Yeet. This is Brad and Rage. Yeet. This is Brad and Rage. Let's move on, <laughs> shall we? So I'm a heck of a grandpa. How was I as uh, a dad? Yeah, please, please. Oh. You were, I don't know how, I don't know how to say something better than a heck of a. Mm. A heck that of a. That is very eloquent. I don't know how to take that. I have to say something. We're going to have to talk about this all I can't line. say anything Without better cursing. than heck of a. A heck of a grandpa and a stand-up dad? That just doesn't have a good ring to it. What's your best memory having Dennis as a father? God, it's, ooh, ooh, it's, you've been put on spot. No, I already know what it is. It's huh. all centered around power boats. <laughs> My best memory, I already know it. Drive My back. best memory is after the shootout one year, Everybody had gone home. It was when we lived at the lake, so all of the tourists had gone home. But was it like white lightning? I don't think it was white lightning. Some boat was just blasting down the lake, and the whole lake was pretty much empty except for this one boat. I was watching a movie in our house, and we had a power boat at the time. We'll have to insert a picture right here. Dad has always had really awesome power boats, but we had this one in particular. Sitting on the dock, Engines were still warm because we had got back from the shootout that day. I'm sitting downstairs watching a movie. Like, rain, it had rained, the rain had parted, this boat is going down the lake just asking for a race, and Dad was like, if you wanna come, you need to be on the dock. <laughs> like, that, I think that was all he said, was if you wanna come, you need to be on the dock, and I heard the boat going by, and Dad and I ran down, untied the boat, let the lift down, got out there, and raced this boat down the lake, and it was just like this boat, and Dad and I, and I got shotgun for like, one of the only times in my life, because somebody <laughs> else always got shotgun. That was the that's, best moment. Hmm, that's like the exact opposite of the best yeah. memory that I had with Dennis. It was a different experience. Okay? <laughs> we don't need, we, we can we, save that for a later yeah, date. Yeah, we'll have to save that. Anyway. In the rain? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were racing white lightning that time. Yes. <laughs> I got a question for Dennis. Barb is a twin. Yep. Did they ever do the twin swap? On you. No. Betty never played Barb. Not that never he knows of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe they just never told you. We're going to interview Barb one of these days. And yeah. So we'll get the, to the closest we ever came to it was actually after Barb and, and mine's first date, if that's what you want to call it. And the next day I saw him in the student union of the college. And uh, I walked into the student union and I saw them both sitting at a table. So I started walking towards them, and they hadn't seen me yet, and one of them got up and left. And so as I came up there, I was already nervous, and as I came up to the table, I didn't know which one was sitting there. <laughs> and it wasn't Barb, it was Betty, and Betty made it easy on me. She said, Barb just went to the restroom, she'll be right back. Uh, oh my gosh. Phew. Yeah. Oh, that I was is. sweating bullets at Seriously, first. Seriously, because they looked so much alike. Yeah. Not that they don't now, but... Back yeah. then, there's a picture of them in high school where I can't tell who's who. Right, right. Would you and be able to find that? Yes. Yeah. We'll insert a picture here. And we have pictures of them as cheerleaders in high school together, right. and you can't tell them apart. No, even you married to one of them. Right. What was the last thing you said to Rachel before walking down the aisle? Oh, I don't even know that. I don't know either. I remember it all vividly, but I don't remember. Yeah, I do too. I, I think you us. said something about like the, all the people that were looking at us. Like the whole, the whole tasting room of the winery we got married at had patrons in it. Right. Which we walked right. through before we went into and the. Which were not our wedding guests. Right. I think you like pointed Rachel out. Rachel is in incredibly beautiful, and and that night there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was pretty proud. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't be more proud. Oh, just that was a really fun night. Speaking of our wedding, so the I think he was the fire chief had just retired from being like the fire chief and went oh. into doing fireworks yeah. displays. Oh, <laughs> yeah. St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just had this absolutely incredible display of fireworks. And so there were like the rumor was around like how much did Dennis pay for all these fireworks? And it mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. only it was like five hundred dollars yeah, I think it was for the fireworks. Reasonable. Yeah, and it was just an incredible show. It just kept going and going. Yeah. Also in the in the theme of our wedding, we had a limo that we actually borrowed from friends at the time of our wedding. We he did not own a limo. I said we we didn't have a limo. What's <laughs> <I mean, it's, laughs> his is ours. Yeah, we had friends that had a limo. We also didn't have a yacht at the time, so we borrowed their yacht for our. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same friend. Um, but the night before. Do we insert a thank you? To the Aki's. Yes, yeah. we should yeah. probably. Thank, thank you, you very uh, much. Thank you they very were, much, Aki's. They were so generous with their awesome boats and yep. cars. Yep. So the night before our wedding, the rehearsal, my dad was driving the limo, which we borrowed from the Aki family. <laughs> and uh, so dad was driving. All of us were in the back, but Brad's grandpa sat in the front with my dad. And had never met Dennis before. Thought that my dad was the limo driver. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I mean, he was the limo driver. Was, he was. was <laughs> Technically, yeah. yes, that's true. I forgot about that. But he was like, so, have you been busy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. busy. Been busy? <laughs> and my dad just played it off like he was the limo driver. Yeah. He never corrected him. He just let it go. And uh, Oh, that was so great. That is great. It was fun. Yeah. Someone did ask, why do you own a limo? I just kind of always wanted one. Mm -hmm. I think they're interesting. I was shopping them on eBay and Craigslist and I stumbled onto one that a church had in Dallas. I came from a church? It, oh yeah, that's right. I, and I remember that. being as particular as I am, I didn't want one that had been a party limo or a, mm. and I didn't want one that was rusted out and this and that. And so I was looking for one from the southern states and stumbled onto this one. What? I nothing. flew That's to something Dallas. Like he says all the time, like you want a vehicle from the southern states because it hasn't driven in the snow, but right. you don't want it from a flood zone because <laughs> right. you don't want it. Well, well you don't want it, I, you don't I, want it from Florida because it doesn't have to report. If something. I yeah. ever have my eyes on a car that I want to buy, I run it by him and he'll be like, uh, why does it? Why does the quarter panel not line up with the door? <laughs> I don't, it's just a red flag. And the car will be pristine otherwise and have low miles and it's like the perfect car and I want it so bad but he'll be like, that quarter panel, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, Dennis now has this company, Lodo, Lodo Lemo. 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 Mm -hmm. Lemo. Look at the Ozarks Lemo. You can hire him. He's got a driver. Yep. They'll take care of you. If you ever come to the Lake of the Ozarks, just mention our name. He'll give you a discount. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does Barb feel about Dennis getting so much lady attention and... <laughs> having the label the silver fox. He is attractive, but Barb is equally beautiful. Very nice looking couple and great genes to pass along. LOL, score! <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> That's so hilarious. the original question was, if you look at Barb and not just her beauty, everything that goes along with her, she so surpasses me. That's not that's true, sweet. but that's Absolutely. really sweet. Aww. You guys are both the, the full Absolutely. meal deal. You guys are both great. You're not both just very good looking. Well, you both have barbs. hearts of gold. And... <laughs> you're, you're both not just really gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> but you're more than just being really, really good looking. <laughs> Someone said that's a really sweet that they want to say that you grew up on a farm. Close. I grew up in a city, but I worked every summer on my family's farm in western Kansas. Uh, my aunt and uncles and cousins are in western Kansas and still are. Was, yeah, and still are. Mm -hmm. And going back from junior high school or maybe even a little before that, my uncle always gave me the opportunity to come out and work in the summer, which I did. And so I grew up bailing hay, driving tractors, driving combines, stacking um, hey bells, stacking uh, them, bales. Yeah. Did you hammer a nail? Dehorning, <laughs> dehorning cows. 
Yeah. Did you ever shave a sheep? Dehorning. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. Dehorning a cow? Yeah. Like you yeah. took the horn off? Yeah. So yeah, that's... And that was not. That was not a good memory of the time I spent on a farm. No, that was, sounds terrible. It was nasty. Yes. What about putting a horseshoe on a horse foot? Didn't do that. No. When was uh, the last time that you? Hoof. When was the last time that you cried? Just a few days ago, I was so happy when the Chiefs won. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 My, the first, Sorry, Bears fan. <laughs> yeah. The first two colors that I learned when I was learning colors, and I remember this, were orange, yellow, red, white. I said two, and then I just named four. Yes, that was. Red, red. yellow, white. Yep. 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 We had, actually, pillow, we had pillows in the back of our van that were Kansas City Chiefs, and that's how I learned my colors. Anyway, go on. In, in case Barb happens to watch this, every time I watch a Hallmark movie with her, I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Dennis, Dennis is, is a little a bit of a answer? softie. He's a softie. That's yeah, a softie. <laughs> and that's frequently, you know, mm -hmm. she said this season you would watch I some kinda, without her. Yeah, I kind of got into it this year. <laughs> yeah, I did too, like two years ago. I really I got know, into it. I would put one on and Brad's like, we've already seen this one. This is the one where the, you know, the girl has the shop, the antique shop and he, <laughs> I'm like, what? I, I didn't graduate from college. So if it's a movie with a plot that's hard to figure out the ending, <laughs> it's kind of tough for me. The <laughs> Hallmark ones I can usually it's figure out Pretty the much second they start. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's awesome. So that's why I like it. What, um, do you, what do you think of us having a YouTube channel? I don't think we've ever asked you that before. Mm -mm. I think it is great, but I think it's, gosh, a lot of work for you guys. I see how much time you guys spend on it, and, but I guess, but the, the, other, the other side of the coin is that it comes naturally for you guys, I think. You guys just have the gift for Gab, and... <laughs> Rachel got that from her father. Uh, uh, from me? <laughs> uh, I don't have the gift for Gab. No, not what? at all. Barb does. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that much work. And we have the memories on film. Like that's, that's, right. that's the benefit of doing oh, yeah. it. Totally. And you know what? Actually, now that I say think about it, Cindy Williams told me this, my cousin. Mm -hmm. It is a tremendous venue for our family to see what's going on. Yeah. My cousin at, at well, Baron Lindell's birthday party. She said, she goes, there isn't anything that's going on in your family I don't know about. Well, that's exactly how it got started. I mean, with IVF and, yep. you know, our parents yeah. living, obviously you guys were in Missouri. We lived in South Carolina. My parents lived in Illinois. All of our friends lived in Illinois and Missouri. So that's how it all got started, really. It was really. easier to update everybody yeah. by just putting out a video. And especially since your parents don't have an opportunity to be here that much with they the grandkids. They love watching look the videos. At, look right. at this opportunity that it brings to them to get to see them almost daily. Exactly. I wish all of our family vlogged so that I could like, feel so connected to all of our family. And yeah. the, thing, the weird thing is I don't picture anybody I know personally watching our vlogs. Oh yeah, that's I feel that like, is true. I feel like it's a video diary and I really don't even picture anybody watching it. Mm, it's was, strange, that was rusty. but um, yeah, and then finding out that my coworkers watch it, my family watches it. Anytime I'm talking to somebody and they say, oh yeah, you mentioned that on the vlog, it's weird to me that like anybody even watches it. People are it. watching it. Yes. That's true. Yeah. That's a good yeah. point. Does it bother you at all when we pull out the camera or you ha have you gotten more used to it? Yeah, originally it did a little bit, I guess. Just it used to clam up when we yeah. brought up the camera. It was awkward, and it, yeah. it was. Awkward I'm, I'm kind of we... shy, and so I guess it just, yeah, I was uncomfortable with it. But over time, I've got more comfortable with it, and if I see it's going on, I just ignore that yeah. it's going on and keep go doing with what it. you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And my beer's empty. Mine too. Uh -oh. Is there any chance Pause. that we could get? Well, I'm a sponsor. Some Anheuser Busch. Wait, you mean water? Sponsor? We'll try to find out. Yeah, we have plenty of water, Dennis. 